Welcome back to Wardex Airsoft. This is Agent Rocco here. Today we're reviewing the G&G SMC9. Its features, functions, and its HPA adapter. And we'll be closing with the kill camp that we've been working on for the last year. Please like, share, and subscribe. We got our SMC9 here. Agent Blaze and I have been torture testing this platform for the last year. Little button right here. The SMC9 is the rifle version of the GTP9. We'll have a review with that one later as well. But just a few side notes here for you guys. This gun is dripping with GNG &G engravings. It really shows you how proud they are to present their product when head to toe all you see is engravings and their logo all over the place. I really love it. Also, this is an m -lock system. However, the additional side rails don't come with the gun. So you got to get those separate. Aside for the fully automatic button that's on the SMC9, all the features and controls, safeties, and bolt releases are the same on the SMC9 as they are on the GTP9. I'm using a Steiner R1X Red Dot Reflex. Uh, it's excellent. It has a huge window. I love it a lot. And it has a quick detach uh, latching system, so can't recommend it enough. The rear sling mount is excellent. I can hook anything to it. And here, as you see, we have the ambidextrous charging bolt or charging system. So right hand, left hand, doesn't matter. You can always get it. The ejection ports are also ambidextrous. Remember, I like to leave both mine open just so if a round gets loose in there, it falls right out. The gun will not function if they're both closed, though. That is the catch. The biggest thing for me is the low profile sight radius right off the barrel, which is important because if you see on MP7, there's a little bit of distance from here to here, especially when I put one of these optics on there. Lots of real estate, lots of real, especially for a guy like me who uses cameras. So, hop up, genius. You guys know about the new G&G &G systems. The hop up comes here, we'll take the tracer off. But you put this in here like so, and you turn it, and it's your off. Oh yeah, and also, so that's a magnetic attachment right there. Hit the trigger down, pop this out. Then, after I pop that open, then I'm going to grab these two tabs here, pull up, back out. Then, very gently, I'm going to pull this from here up, separate here. Good, good. Pull this down, and that green seal right there that you're seeing, that little bit of green, you can see, that's what I want to keep holding with. Give it one, two, three drops is fine. You can't over oil this. As I've been told. And then we're going to work it in a little here. We're going to put the gun back together. The tracks slide right in just like you're supposed to. Very nice. Also, when you get yours brand new, the flash hider is on there with the jaws of life. So hit it with a lighter before you turn the Allen key to get the stock factory flash hider. Here we are. Off. The final project's complete. As you see, I got my HPA adapter from Primary Airsoft. Shout out Primary Airsoft. Excellent. Shout out Bonsai, he's the only other guy that I know that has the primary airsoft adapter going to his SMC9. He works over at TNT Airsoft and Lodi. Thanks guys for letting us torture test the war you're uh, shooting in. I do have to mention that the ambidextrous ejection port ports I would leave them both open, guys, sometimes, especially when you're using the HPA adapter when you're feeding. Sometimes a round will just get weird and get loose in there. So it's better to have both doors open so you can just shake it out. Once I had the HPA adapter set up, I'm running about 350 FPS with 1.14 joules, I believe. And everything worked great. It's flaws. I could really make this trigger dance with my middle finger. Yeah, guys, this is semi-automatic right here. I'm just using my middle finger and moving it back and forth as fast as I can. All my guns get a run and gun test. It's just to make sure that I'm efficient and fluent in how it moves and how it feels, its ergos, so that when I'm running on the field, as you see right here, I can actually perform decently. That said, now it's time for the kill cam footage. I've been working on footage for this project for about a year now. I really battle tested this weapon, love it to death. Hope you guys enjoy this footage.
serio, serio. Thanks for watching, guys. By the way, if you guys haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to this. Also, if you like us on Instagram, we are Wardex Airsoft on Instagram. And when we host our personal night games, we, we specialize in night games, but we host other games. They're from the Instagram page, Wardex Productions. Uh, we try to do a couple games a year. We also have a course um, of our own up in Nevada City, California. It's called Tree City. It's part of the National uh, Tahoe Rainforest. So check us out. Follow us. Come to our games. Stay up to date with what we got going on. For the last three years, we've just been banking footage upon footage upon footage. We have a lot of projects we've been waiting to unveil. Now's the right time. Definitely, definitely stay tuned. You're going to see a lot more content from all our pages.